Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I'm here with more awesome ITX Llama game tests, and this time we're testing out some DOS games. So let's jump right into the testing. First up, let's talk about the CPU settings I use. For all the games you're about to see, I kept the CPU set at 300 megahertz. And guess what? That was more than enough power. Performance was so good on the games that worked, I didn't even need to bump up the speed. I'm first kicking things off with the original Need for Speed. This game, along with Screamer, really made you feel like you had an arcade racer right on your computer desk. Installing the game on the Llama was a bit of a challenge, but once it was installed, the game ran like a dream. Performance was absolutely fantastic with all the settings at maximum. Regarding the installation, I hit a snag with CD images. Running the installation from a CD image just wouldn't work. I tried multiple images with a USB ODE, which is a project that lets you use a Raspberry Pi as a USB CD-ROM, and I also tried SHSUCD, a DOS program for mounting ISOs. But both gave me the same issue. And by the way, I got videos on those methods on using CD images on DOS linked in the description, so check them out. I'm pretty sure the images were good too because they worked perfectly on the 86 box emulator. So here's how I was able to get the game running. I installed the game using the CD images in 86 box, then copied those installation files straight to the SD card I was using on the ITX Llama. At first, I got no sound, and the sound configuration was totally unresponsive for me. But I created a batch file where I added the Sound Blaster Pro switch to the executable, and boom, full glorious sound working. Once I got past that installation hurdle, the game ran great. Next up is Raptor Call of the Shadows. I had absolutely no issues here. Everything worked perfectly and it was a blast to play. Now for a series I really wanted to get working because of the incredible chiptune music. And these are the Tyrion games. Unfortunately, the first Tyrion game wouldn't even boot up. It just spit out an error. But then there's Tyrion 2000. This one does run, but there is some really bad distortion when sound effects are enabled. Sound effects do play, but the distortion is really distracting and you can barely hear the music. But you can turn sound effects off and just leave the music on and you'll be able to enjoy the game. Moving on, another game that wouldn't cooperate was Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Just like Tyrion, it would just spit out an error when trying to run the executable. Finally, I tried LucasArts Full Throttle. A classic point and click adventure, and it works absolutely wonderfully on the ITX Llama. It really was a joy to play. Now, there go some boys I can ride with. Step on it, let's find out who they are. So here's a summary of the results. The testing results weren't perfect. Tyrion and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo didn't run at all. Tyrion 2000 had those digital audio issues, but was great with just music turned on. Need for Speed had its installation quirks, but once I got past those, it was smooth sailing. Finally, Raptor and Full Throttle worked great from the start. So what other DOS games do you want me to try out on the ITX Llama? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.